for that crashed bomber. This is the beginning and end of the trail. It's an uh, old road and you take that up for a little while, then it turns into gravel, and then it turns into um, a pretty uh, rugged trail. Down this way uh, is the BC Ferry Terminal. To give you an idea. <clears throat> So right there is the right there is the end of the road. That's a BC ferry terminal. So if you could go down there, you've gone too far. So this is what you want to look for. Beginning of the trail and.
Okay, right, guys, so here I am at uh, Port Hardy, August 2020. Just gone for a little hike just outside the town of Port Hardy, north tip of Vancouver Island. And I uh, got a tip that there is a World War II bomber that had crashed back in April 1944. Crashed on the side of a mountain, so I decided to take a hike. It's about a one hour hike uh, through the bush, bit rough, but. Uh, easily done and uh, this is what I found uh, World War II bomber so I will show you guys inside it is a Dakota Very careful here So it's a Dakota 576, crash 19th, April 1944. Two killed in action and one survived. So this is what's left. This has been around since uh, April 1944. And it's uh, obviously made out of aluminum, so it hasn't rusted much. Um, it's in several pieces. So I will see if I can find all the pieces and show you guys what this thing looks like. See, that's one of the engines there. So this is a heritage site, it's protected, so nobody's allowed to damage it, nobody's allowed to um, take any pieces away, it's all protected, there's fines if you're caught taking anything, and rightfully so, there's two people perished here, serving their country, so I'll just have a look down here. <coughs> So, this looks like the tail section, and then the cockpit, cockpit's way up there, so that would be uh, where the pilot, two pilots were, and they perished in the crash. A sergeant survived. So, this is pretty, uh, pretty cool. pieces wrapped around the tree here so I'm assuming the plane came from there and flew that way into the side of the mountain here War II bomber crashed many years ago. You can see, uh, I guess that's the elevator. That's definitely taken a beating. There's uh, bits of airplane debris all over this place tons of it 
So this has all been here since 1944. So you can see it must have glided in somehow and uh, looks like there's evidence of a fire but also it hit and the plane broke up in a couple pieces. Guess this is a clearing. Must have come through here. This part of the elevator. The rudder is completely off. Maybe that might be the rudder there. Or yeah, that might be a rudder. I'm not sure. It's like uh, some kind of makeshift. The makeshift platform there that um, may have been used during the rescue. That's the other side, so I get up here. Airplane pieces, there's more pieces over there, way over here is a place, pieces. So I'm guessing it, it came through here. You can see, uh, I've got here. you see the tops of these trees are missing, so the plane must have taken those out, come through here. And then just landed there. This is what I. This is what I guess. Uh, I see lots of airplane debris in here as well. Let's see if we can go up this log here. There's something for the engine. And that is probably a wing. That's uh, a wing's been severed. Looks like somebody's bullet holes in there. That's not very cool. Some loser shot bullet holes. <clears throat> wow, pretty amazing. Oh, this looks like maybe some pieces down there. Let's see what that looks like. I just found this piece here. I'm not sure. It's quite a ways away from the, the main crash site. I'm not sure if that's part of the wing or what that is. And you can see bits there's a plane through here. There's some more down here. There's another piece here. That's it. There's pieces of this plane strewn about everywhere. Like I said, it looks like it's come up through those trees here. And then it's come through here. And she's ended up right there. One other thing, if you do come up here, uh, this is bear country. Grizzlies, black bears, wolves. So uh, make sure you carry a pepper spray. 
we're uh, definitely in bear country so I was out hiking yesterday up at Cape Scott and uh, saw two bears out there two black bears so just uh, go prepared and you should have no problem make lots of noise when you hike so there's another piece here yeah, I'm assuming this is something they've made for the rescue an old uh, some kind of platform this is it this is the second world war bomber that's crashed uh, just uh, outside Port Hardy which is on the northern tip of Vancouver Island British Columbia Canada and uh, it's something I've always wanted to do is check this out so uh, I'm knock this off my bucket list along and we'll chat with you guys later peace out